have a look at those facets. Those capture the light mm. so, so good. Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Aaron from Pen Venture. Welcome to a new fountain pen review. And in this one, we are checking out the latest release from Leonardo Ficina Italiana, the Dodici Collection. Three individual beautiful fountain pens, which are part of now the model Dodici. It's not only an exclusive edition, like the one that we had, the, the, the Midnight, this beautiful one, and we are going to discover what Leonardo of Cine Italiana is offering right now in the Dodici lineup. Premiering because as of now, no one got their hands on such writing instruments. And we have a beautiful relationship with the Leonardo of Cine Italiana team. And we got the first fountain pen in our hands to check out. In True Pen Venture style, we're gonna check some details. Regarding this collection, I'm gonna tell you what was my involvement in creating this fountain pen model. Then of course, we're gonna have a side-by-side -side size comparison, a few details regarding the size, weight, and everything. Then a writing sample, and in the end, we're gonna conclude everything with some personal opinions of myself regarding this special release. Since you are already accustomed to this specific model, because you already seen it being made into our exclusive edition, the Dodici Midnight, the faceted version, almost, almost sold out. We are down to single digits. We're gonna skip a few details and we're gonna move briefly in between them, but of course, we're gonna try to make you watching right now understand everything that there is to know regarding this specific model. It's been like probably a year plus since I nagged Salvatore from uh, Leonardo of Cina Italiana in regards of having something faceted and oversized because I was accustomed to having the Tredici, the 13 facets. Tredici was a little bit smaller for my taste and probably most of you as well. And I've proposed to have like a Momento Zero Grande faceted. And uh, Salvatore was, nah, we should do something a little bit more interesting, a little bit more different. And I said, well, one of my favorite fountain pen models faceted is the Paragon. So this is oozing Italian style and it's, it's, it's magical. It's been one of my top uh, fountain pen on multiple years in my list that I do each year, what I regard to being a gold standard in regards of faceted oversized fountain pens. Of course, it's made out of Arco and everything, but it's, it's, it's a fountain pen that's super, super expensive. Like that pen, it's roughly around 2,000 euros as of now. But again, it's tied up into Omas not being uh, with us anymore and that being Arco and blah, blah, blah. So I've asked for Leonardo of Gina Italiana to do something in resin. So this time they went with a lot of the things that I've suggested. Of course, they added their own spin uh, onto a lot of those things. And what came to be was our exclusive, the Dodici Midnight in this beautiful, beautiful Carolina Pan Company primary manipulation resin. Recently, like uh, a week ago, they launched the regular edition, which it's made in three fountain pens. What we have here is just one of those fountain pens. Vulcanica, and this is drawing inspiration from volcanic glass and this black fountain pen. It's oozing style and elegance. And if you ask me, black fountain pens with gold color trim takes me back to the vintage standard of writing instruments, black and gold. And if you ask me, this could be the point that ties everything in regards of the hobby itself with the vintage golden era of fountain pens. There are two more fountain pens which we don't have them in our hands as of now, but they are available, they are on the website, you can pre-order them just like the black one, this one, and those two, I'm gonna use some pictures to just simply show them to you, Magmatica, and it features this profound blue hues of the ocean depths, and it's just like a play with colors, dark hues, uh, and it's supposed to mimic that magmatic rocks uh, just mingling in with the sea water. And I believe this uh, like volcano theme 
can be uh, something that ties this collection to Naples. And Naples is famous because it has the volcano. This has to do with the local identity of the Leonardo brand and the fact that they are based in Naples. Then moving further, we have another one, which is the Mosaico. And the Mosaico is using a very known resin by now. And this is the Baobab resin Mosaico, this green, beautiful resin, which you're gonna have something that catches the light and also there is a play of colors being this checkered design so for me this is just simply the beauty of symmetry and aspect this fountain pens are available both with silver trim or gold trim and on them you can have a variety of nibs if you want the 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 one that has the mosaic or resin this one it's a limited edition of only 100 fountain pens starting from this end we have the finial which as you know by now it's pointy and it has this conical shape like usually with leonardo of china italiana the cap it's not super super drastically picking up in girth so it starts at this point right here then it starts to pick up in girth a little bit around this point as usual three rings configuration this is far difficult to put together than you may think because in between those rings we have a little bit of the black resin and in the case of the colored version the color resin and those small small rings needs to be put individually there moving further we have the clip which by leonardo standards is this one and it's a very practical clip with the small wheel the facets are incredible look at the black how it's capturing the light continuing from this point we have the step down or the the point where the barrel meets the cap this is done very very carefully by leonardo of china italiana everything gets smooth you can run your fingers nothing is sharp nothing stands out more than it needs and i believe this is where this kind of a detail attracts me so so much on this fountain pen one complete turn of the cap to uncap the fountain pen so this thing you can carry it with you in meetings very easy to uncap very quickly then we are greeted by the nib in this case we have the size 8 14 karat gold nib la finis by leonardo of china italiana beautiful design stamped uh, we have the leonardo logo wings leonardo 14 karat fine point right here at the base so in eight nib we have available extra fine fine medium broad and 1.1 millimeter stop then we have another nib which i don't have uh, other than on my dodici the exclusive edition so if you want to have the size six nib it's available on the newly launched version volcanica magmatica and mosaico and this comes in the same look but different sizes extra fine fine medium broad 1.1 millimeter stub elastic extra fine and elastic fine both of the snips are powered by ebonite feeders a larger one for the size 8 gold nib smaller one for the size 6 uh, you know by now every single nib comes with the feeder heat set to it everything has been checked in the factory and again checked in our location prior to having this fountain pen sent your way you are getting the very best writing experience that we can offer you us and leonardo of china italiana moving further we have the section which it's the same section regardless if you have a size 8 or a size 6 nib you can see this if we put the size 6 dodici exclusive of ours side by side and this section it's tapering in and it has this flaring out towards the nib regardless where you group your fountain pen higher or lower it's a section which is very very comfortable it is not faceted it is very very ergonomic in my experience and when you write with this fountain pen it just feels like it should be very balanced very nice let's proceed further then we have this threads those are from the capping system they seem to be very well polished but it's noticeable so if you keep it like this you're gonna feel those threads for sure then we have the ink window yeah because it's a resin fountain pen it's an oversized fountain pen we should be able to see what's inside as ink level and everything on the black one this one it's a little bit foggy a little bit dark so i love this uh, then we have the step up 
from this point right here this is also not sharp at all it's polished the barrel starts at the thickest point right here 12 facets those are going to capture the light very very well tapering in to this point right here which is the place that marks the finishing of the barrel then we have the piston knob and this piston knob it's going to be a little bit larger than what you would find on a paragon for example this is uh, them side by side this is going to be a lot more easy to grip on it because it's not that short you also have plenty of grip to untwist to move the piston down and uh, when you want to draw ink you just screw in and that's it you have 1.5 milliliters of ink as a volume the filling system it's the leonardo in-house made piston filling mechanism this piston assembly right here can be removed if you have the Leonardo tool, piston tool, which is available for sale, separate from the fountain pen. And this way you can just simply remove the back assembly of this fountain pen, grease the inside, clean it. And also keep in mind as a disclaimer and slash warning, please make sure that the piston assembly doesn't get wet or doesn't get submerged in water because it will seize so if you remove this put it aside and clean just the inside of the fountain pen with water in regards of details this is it now let's have some measurements for the fountain pen let's see how it looks next to some other fountain pens and then let's ink it up and let's write with this gorgeous fine 8 14 karat gold nib Pelican M1000 next to the Dodici Visconti Homo Sapiens and here we have a Momento Zero Grande uncapped as well it can stand toe to toe with the M1000 Homo Sapiens and the Momento Zero Grande making it a very very interesting oversized option from Leonardo Cina Italiana capped like this the Dodici measures 155 millimeters in between ends uncapped in writing position like so it's measuring 135 millimeters posted like this it's 180 millimeters capped or posted like this it's going to weigh 32 grams and uncapped in writing position like so 22 grams as usual with the Pemventure reviews, now it is the time to talk about pricing. And we do have to talk about pricing. Well, for our exclusive edition, the Dodici Midnight, which comes in primary manipulation, it's at a 620 euros cost with the size 8 gold, without taxes, of course. And for the regular edition that you have right now, it's going to be at 705 euros novat for the size 8 gold nib 617 euros novat for the size 6 gold nib so you want to tell me that the exclusive edition is going to cost a little bit less than the normal edition from leonardo of china italiana yes because when we've developed this model we came up with the pricing based on the prices for materials and labor at that specific moment in time there is the fact that we've used the primary manipulation resin and this resin came on our cost also in time leonardo of china italiana realized how much labor does this fountain pen or making this fountain pen requires 70 fountain pens is a thing when you do a few hundreds of this fountain pens it's going to take a lot of time and faceted models are incredible hard to figure it out because when you have a round shape it's just putting the material in a uh, lathe and to just turn it into a fountain pen when it comes to faceted models it's going to require one more step because now once you have the fountain pen being round you have to put facets you have to calculate how much material should i leave in order for the cutting knife to make facets then you have another step not only you have to polish the the, the material you have to individually polish each facet and when it comes to this leonardo of china italiana could not just go about and do this on a machine no they put this parts on a bar and then they put it to a machine and by hand each individual pan is individually polished at each individual facet without being said now it is time to give it a proper test drive on the paper because these fountain pens are made to be loved to be collected to be cherished but most important are made as functional writing instruments let's put that 
to the test. Should we use a black ink just to match the pen and everything? Hmm. Okay, let's go with something black. And by black, I mean one of my favorite black inks as of lately. It is Sailor Manu Chigaya. So here is the ink there at the ink window. Superb, superb feature. Now let's put this to the page. And we have the pen, Leonardo, Dodici, Okinga, and we have the ink, Sailor, Manu, the nib, 8, 14 karat gold, and this is a fine. It's gonna sound funny, but recently, like a few hours ago, I got asked, Emmy, which are your favorite nibs and why? And I had to respond in no specific order. Like I said, the size 8 gold nib, of Leonardo of China Italiana, the La Fenice, this one that we have today in this video. Then I said the 21 karat gold king of pen nib. Then I said the Namiki nib, uh, the number 50 nib, uh, and also uh, the Visconti 23 karat palladium dream touch nib. So that unites pretty much everything. And there are a lot of other nibs, but if you ask me quickly, this is what I would answer to you. So I just love the snips. They write superb, smooth, nice hint of feedback on the more smoother side than with the one that has a hint of feedback. Now let's check the wetness of such a nib. Remember, this is a fine nib, so we are going to have a pretty, pretty tamed ink flow. Uh, moderate to wet in there, like uh, if one is super dry and 10 is fire hose wet, this will be at a solid 6.8, 6.5 around there. If you want to have it more wet, it can be arranged, it can be adjusted, but the line that this fountain pen will offer will not be a fine. It will be more close to a medium. Now let's have some normal figure of eights. Uh, I would say this is a conservative fine for European standard. And then let's have some flex. Let's apply a little bit of pressure and let's see how this nib is flexing. It does have some line variation, it does have some give, but what do I find very, very attractive on this nib? It's the elasticity and the snap back. So these nibs are a little bit more difficult to adjust because they are very, very elastic and they come back. The, the sweet spot when you just want to open up the flow or just adjust them, it's uh, going to be very difficult to find because you go a little bit and the nib comes back in the same position and you go a little bit higher and that's it, it's bent. So you have to be very careful with these nibs. In the writing, uh, if you want to press on them, if you want to have a little bit of fun, this will allow you the joy to just have a little bit more of a character. When you press a little bit on the nib, it's opening up and the snapback, it's very, very nice. It will take the nib all the way up to a solid medium plus nib. It's going to start like a fine. So you have a little bit of line variation. Uh, now let's check out the famous sentence and the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This nib, it's very, very smooth. It has a little bit of feedback. Probably it's more smoother than feedbacky, and uh, I have not a single problem with it. It's a fountain pen which feels very, very solid in your hand as you write with it, and it's very, very gorgeous as a nib, as a writing experience. We have no skippings, no hard starts, nothing whatsoever, and this nib has not been adjusted by me at all. This is how I got it. And pretty much this concludes our writing sample. Now let's put everything back together by 
back together, I mean the cap and everything. And let's talk about my honest opinion regarding this specific model. Spoiler alert, it's gonna be a biased opinion. You know why? Because I was involved with creating this fountain pen. So a lot of the ideas that came to form this fountain pen were just maybe pointed out or suggested even by me. I love this fountain pen to death. This is why we based our exclusive edition on this specific model because I'm a huge advocate of faceted models oversized fountain pen, uh, Italian models like the one uh, that I've showed you being my favorite, the Paragon and Aqua Bronze. So I believe this is one of those fountain pens that just simply has a very, very close to my heart place and I keep it there. And, and for me, it is just like a jewel. It is something that I'm super, super proud to just say that I was involved into suggesting Leonardo of China Italiana or better said to advocate to have such a model in their lineup. It's an oversized flagship pen. If you like small pens, this is not for you. It's very comfortable regardless of its size. I would not say it's proper to be used posted. 180 millimeters in this position is just too long, but I have small hands. This could be too long for me. On this black model, I would not put the cap on. Of course, I believe this ring right here is gonna take uh, the, the, the point of contact with the cap. But again, I don't want to be uh, like uh, having scratches on this black, very, very polished uh, resin. So this is why I would avoid posting it. The cost can be a little bit higher, but for this cost, you are getting a fountain pen, which is very well made, very well polished, an incredible size eight gold nib, ebonite feeder, ink window for resin fountain pen, faceted, pretty much you get the very best from Leonardo of China Italiana. Looking at this fountain pen, I can only say that this is a worthy addition to any Leonardo collection. It is the flagship model of Leonardo. Till this moment, we have the flagship Momento Zero Grande 2.0, round, uh, ink window, piston, everything, uh, steel nib, uh, gold nib, size six, size eight, uh, titanium, and all of that watching closely at this fountain pen. I can see it taking over the Momento Zero Grande series as being the flagship. And this is where I think Leonardo intended to have this fountain pen. It sits above the Momento Zero Grande series. So for all of you that you think that this is just a Momento Zero Grande with facets, it's not true. It's different, it feels different, it's looking different. It has a different price point. I don't think this will ever have a steel nib. This is what I know at this very moment from Leonardo of China Italiana. And this is for the good, because I believe this should be the flagship model of Leonardo of China Italiana. It's available on pre-order at Pen Venture as we speak right now. Pretty much this concludes our review. This is a fountain pen which I love and I believe this will be my personal fountain pen. It's inked up, black ink and everything and I'm gonna take this at home with me to play for the entire weekend. Thank you very, very much for staying so much on this video to check out the Leonardo of China Italiana Dodici. If you have any questions, use the comment section down below. Let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions. If you want to pre-order this specific fountain pen at PenVenture, scroll down, you'll find the link for it. And also, if you want to check out the very few pieces left from the Midnight Dodici collection, the exclusive one that we have, you can check it also at the link down below. Thank you very, very much. Don't forget, if you find my content useful, give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and everything else. Also, I know that so many of you that are watching right now are not subscribed. And if you want to support the growth of the PenVenture YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. Just click there, turn on notification bell on, and you will be notified whenever we have new content. Speaking about content, if you want to watch my previous videos, I'm gonna leave you this right here. You can click and enjoy. As always, I'm your host, Amy from PenVenture. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.